Yeah, a lot of these shows don't seem to last uh, that many seasons these days. Well, I mean, sort of five and that's it. The expanse goes on for quite a few seasons. Very good. Home sweet home. I'll let you build it as you like, but the next step for you will be to deploy the resurrection node that was given to you at the beginning. This well, especially sure since I'm starting to watch it again. <laughs> we will respawn here, and not on an Alioth district. You can go into your inventory yeah, a lot of people and simply double click on it to equip weren't it. Weren't that fuss with it with s after watching season one from um, then they watched season one again, and then sort of more things clicked, and then it became, then they got more into it. I mm. loved it from when I first saw it. I thought, yeah, oh my god, this is my kind of show. Brilliant. Okay, so I'm going to start building my place now. We decided, because um, like those those two hundred concrete blocks I put down, that that's basically the size of my platform. Is it? All oh, right. Yeah. I ran out at that point and lost interest in getting more. But have you decided sort of what size place you're building, or is you just going to do a basic one? Or I shall build the platform because we got a. I want it bigger than this. But what I'd like to do is yeah. put down machinery that can actually help so I can construct the materials myself. I don't want to have to keep on going to the market. <laughs> no, no, I understand. Um, so uh, I'll do as you've done there and create a, a concrete platform. And see where you're at then. <laughs> yeah, I might, <laughs> might raise, I think we're going to raise the uh, core up. I think. Yeah, I will. I'll be right back. This is going to be set. Okay.
Right, they're almost done. They're cutting the beef up and that's it. Mmm. Nice. I've embedded the core in the actual concrete <laughs> somehow. I have returned. Cool. Neighbor's not very happy. She brought a new life today and uh, get into it. Bought, bought a new what? iPhone. Alright. Oh,
Yeah. You know, I could see um, Earth and Mars uh, becoming separate colonies one day. Yeah. True. Gonna have to get out there at some point. Find other. Well, they're gonna. It needs to be set up so rather than independent governments, it's sort of like a, a united sort of planets or something. Oh, yeah. There needs to be someone that's in charge of oversight over both yeah. anything that happens in our system, not just individual planets, because that's just going to fucking go down a shit creek straight away. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of. I'm going to be surprised if there isn't a war with China at some point because they're going to be wanting to take control of uh, space. Americans won't allow that. Mm. No. You can't trust the Chinese, I'm afraid. I never used to like Verity as a kid, but I think very part of Rest. Yeah, I, I was summon some. It depends on because some beef you get, and it can be it can be not very nice. Mm. So uh, when it's nice, it's damn, it's it's great. <laughs> I got my platform is actually it's not sitting on the ground. The only thing that's touching the ground is the uh, core, and I've put a like a concrete s surrounding the core. Oh, right. this is interesting. I don't know what's going to happen to my base. <laughs> no, I mean, you you you'll, you'll never get attacked there. So, well, I know what I mean is. Um, Will it collapse? Because <laughs> it's, uh -oh. it's not going to be balanced. building is a bit finicky it doesn't always do what you want it to do I noticed oh, good <laughs> it's one of the was just being shit <laughs> no it's not just you I thought this is crap <laughs> that's, that's my honest fault
Oh, what the fuck? How did that happen? It's, um... Somehow they're like long strips of concrete, so concrete has suddenly appeared outside one at one side of my uh, platform. <laughs> it may, may have automatically been placed there just for balance. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, like you said, the placement stuff is bizarre in some cases. It's not consistent. It, you do the same kind of action and it doesn't do what it's supposed to do. No. This is pissing me off. <laughs> Am I recording this? Good. <laughs> this game's <laughs> pissing me off. No, it's not supposed to. S oh, shit, fuck tits. <laughs> oh, that guy's lost an arm. Yeah, it's actually adding concrete to stabilise the building, by the looks of it. Which is okay. I've got a really big area now. <laughs> I think you've built it two blocks high. For each for the floor, I just did one. <laughs> I'm sure mine was one, I'll have a look in a bit. I think I've, oh no, I haven't built to the limits yet, not quite.
Okay, it's the second member of the crew that still a ship. <laughs> so what's then, that? In um um uh, what's this called? The expanse, the first episode, they introduced the main characters very quickly. Oh yeah, yeah. Love that show. Have you got a favourite yet out of them? Not yet. To be honest, I don't remember much about it, so. All oh, right. I know from Breaking Bad, I'd like to find more shows with uh, Michael Guff, and they were damn good actors. Oh yeah. Who was Mike actually portrayed? Giancarlo, Giancarlo Esposito. Oh God, just, for some reason I can remember his name, but I can't remember like ordinary names. <laughs> uh, well, Jonathan, English Jonathan, names. Jonathan, Jonathan Banks played Mike and Aaron Trout, whatever the is. Aaron Trout, yeah, 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 he's brilliant. He's, he's in uh, Better Call Saul. And, and frankly, is the best character in it. Mm. Yeah, he's very good. I was quite surprised at the end of the final episode that um, Walt managed to have all of uh, his men in prison killed. I can't remember that. <laughs> Long time since I've seen uh, it. Last episode, he has all of Mike's men in prison killed. All the ones that the DA uh, had got. Damn. Thing is, you, you look at that and you think he's the bad. He's a bad guy, but you watch Better Call Saul and you realise he's not actually the bad guy. He's not. He's not. A, he's not a bad guy. Far from it. Okay, so I thought I'd, I'd seen him. He's in the expanse as well, Mike. Yeah, he is. Um, yeah, only that first episode, though. Oh, I shouldn't say. If I... <laughs> Sorry. I'm already, already halfway for it. All oh, right. It's kind of hard to. I do have favourites. Alex uh, Kazanvor, the actor, his character Alex, the Texan, tech well Texas, Texas accent. Mm. He's probably him and actually Frank. Oh, she, yeah, she doesn't turn up until season two. I think Bobby. Uh. When I fir first season, Thomas uh, Joe uh, Miller was my favourite ca character in the first season, and still is still a fave. I like that. Lot, all of them are basically well up there. <laughs> it's very difficult. I think now though, it's Alex, the guy with a Texas accent, Martian, Bobby, Amos. And uh, Avasarala, Christian Avasarala. I think they're probably equal, equal favourites. Really like Bobby. It says, uh, it says Mike is in uh, 13 episodes of The Expanse. Is he? Are you sure? That's what it says. He plays the captain. Perfect. 
Bloody hell, he's been in a lot of stuff recently. Yeah, he's quite popular now. And so that's basically the whole of the first season. I thought he was only in... Yeah. No, at most two or three. He started at. That's back in 1974. Oh, yeah, no, I remember him from the 80s in, in things. His first film was uh, something to do with uh, menstruation. Lovely. <laughs> An episode, a, a series called The Gangster Chronicles. Yeah, I haven't seen that. No, I haven't seen it. 13 episodes. I, I do remember him from way back from the, in the 70s and 80s. Very definitely. the XO. He's only showing in one episode here. Unless... Weird. I, I definitely only remember him from one, one episode. I shouldn't really say that. <laughs> that doesn't matter. I've seen the whole first three seasons before, so... No, oh, right. It's just showing it is in, is in one episode, yeah. Cool. It's only, yeah, he's only in very few scenes, really. Let's have a look to see what else he was in back in the day that I remember. You remember film, this, Arms in the first, dangerous. Um, first Beverly Hills Cop. Eh, yeah. yeah. He's got a very distinctive face, so... You... And I mean, voice. Like... I have Sorry? And voice as well. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Hill Street Blues... Holy oh, shit, he was Reggie. I've been watching that again. Hill Street Blues from, eight, from the 80s. Love that series. Holy fuck. TJ Hooker. Played two characters. Never saw the Gangster Chronicles. Um, hombre. No, oh, GC is in tons upon tons of stuff. Holy cow, is in How the West Was One TV series. Love that series. 70s. Waltons? <laughs> Holy fuck. Blue Grant, yeah, a lot of cop stuff. That's Breaking Bad, he did better cool song. Yeah, definitely. You watch that, he's definitely the best character. Definitely, definitely, definitely. His, char his, his character's damn good in uh, Breaking Bad. A lot of good characters in Breaking Bad. 
a lot of characters got better as well as they went on throughout the Yeah, life. for sure. I have to, I'm gonna have to check that series out, Gangster Chronicles. Yeah, he was in Community, the comedy. I remember when he, when he turned up in that. Yeah, kind of disappointing when he didn't last very long in The Expanse. <laughs> he played a good role, though. The guy's a proper actor. Oh, he's in that com uh, car that's cartoon, isn't it? F is for family. Mm. Yeah. Watch this first episode again because I missed half of it, didn't I? <laughs> I don't know how you can do that, uh, do other things bes besides watching, as well as watching um, <laughs> whatever. I can't, I gotta focus on what I'm watching.
Okay, so I've got the platform down, and it's. You, see, you can't actually make it any bigger than this. You got a restriction on the size. Oh, bastard! <laughs> can't make a castle. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Be oh. make a little little town castle. <laughs> yeah, with a restriction on uh, the number of cores you can put down or you know, have, you're fucked. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's severely reduced what you can do in this game. Three month subscriptions, pants. God damn, I've been ripped off. <laughs> <laughs> Fuckers. <laughs> Right, uh, okay, I need to... Have a look at my talents. I've got many days worth. It's done all... I've, I've done nano pack as well, so I can carry more and whatever. Mining optim optimizations, they've nearly done. And it's on to nano packs. I think I better queue something else up. Increase scanner range, that could be useful. Doesn't seem to be a limit on the number of skills you can queue up. Two days, seven hours worth of skills, skill training. Yeah, I had, uh, was it 47 hours or so left, so I was able to add another thing here. Oh, right, okay, so there is a limit. Okay, so I've got to place down my. Uh, So. Yeah, a three months sub is a bit of a con, really. There wasn't much money there, mm. but hey. Right, where's that thing I got a place? Uh, resurrection node. Hang on. Now, you need to activate it, so that it will be operational. When you die, the closest activated resurrection node is selected for you. Point at it, activate it. Great. You are done with the basics. I will now present you with a series of recommended objectives to go further. As you progress, you will have the opportunity to unlock achievements that will grant you talent point bonuses. They range from very simple to very hard into five levels. When you have time, have a look at the achievement window. You will see all the achievements you have unlocked, and also the ones still pending. Remember, pressing the mouse free key will open the side menu with all the shortcuts to various windows. You may have noticed already that you receive hints from time to time, depending on what you are currently doing. You should have a look at all the hints you have already unlocked, by checking the hints window. 
If you have not done so yet, it is strongly recommended to go to the talents window and start to prepare a talent plan that will run even if you are not online. Training talents that are queued is considerably faster than waiting for talent points to accumulate. Also, you can go to the talent window regularly to decide how to spend acquired or accumulated pending talent points. The best way to make progress, still, is by joining an organization. I invite you to go check the organization window and browse existing organizations. If you find one you like and which is open to recruitment, you could send an application. Organization usually provide advices, support and often ships and various help. Finally, when you are ready, you may want to build or buy a ship that would be capable to lift off in the atmosphere or even to fly in space. The quickest way to get one of these machines is to buy one. You can then easily customize it to make it unique. There are several shops on this sanctuary moon where you can buy a good ship at a fixed price, you should go and pay a visit. I've marked the closest one with a waypoint.